it's movie time, it's movie time. In the future, I will be making more rhymes, but right now, it's movie time, it's movie time. Hey, it's the Young TT Movie TV Show number 17, now let's go. Okay, I'm doing it a little bit different today. I'm doing three movies. Okay, as you can see, my first movie is Finding Dory. I can't tell you how much this is beautiful, amazing, adorable, and it's just a great, great movie. It's kind of like Finding Nemo, but it's great. It's fantastic. It's more than great. It's better. It's awesome. And I love it. And... I've been dying to want to watch this movie for like forever. So you know what? I said like since I'm so busy to go to the movie theaters, me and my mom just bought this movie. Well, my mom just bought this movie for me, and she surprised me, and now I'm so 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 happy. But anyway, yeah, I watched this one time, but I'm gonna watch it again because it is a great movie. But I think I kind of like Finding Nemo just a little teensy bit better, but. It's still a great movie. So, if you never saw this movie, maybe I shouldn't give it away, but I'm gonna give it away. And, well, I'm not gonna give all of it away, but just a little bit, whatever. But anyway, if you don't know, this is Fine and Dory. And if you haven't seen this movie, hey, it's, it's a young TV movie, TV show. No <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, as I was going to say, well, I'm going to read the back. Disney Y Pixie Finding Dory renews everyone's favorite forgettable blue tag Dory with her friends Nemo and Marlin on a search for answers about her past. What can she remember? Who are her parents? And where did she learn to speak well? Directed by Andrew Stanton, Finding Nemo, Wally, and produced by Lindsay Holland's co-producer Wall E. The film features the voices of Ellen. OMG! Ellen, the Ellen Show! I didn't even know that her voice was in here. That is so cool. If you saw like Ellen, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she has her own show and Heaven King was on there and other people was on there. That was so cool. Yeah, I love her so much. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And Albert Brooks, Ed O'Neill, he's so funny, yeah. And Caitlin Olsen and Ty Barrow, Ejen Levy and Diane Catton. That is so cool. I'm totally looking up the actors and actresses in this movie because I did not know that that Ellen was on this and it's so cool. But anyway, here's the back. Now I'm sorry I gave it away if you haven't seen it before in your dynasty and you don't want no one to tell you, but yep, I finally got this movie last week and I was watching it and it is a terrific movie. If you haven't seen it, you should go check it out because it is an incredible movie. And if you have seen it, there ain't nothing wrong with seeing it again because it's a loving and funny and cute movie and I just love it so much. Okay, so, I don't know if it's pronounced Dory or Dora, but anyway, I call it Dory. But anyway, Ellen DeGeneres is a wild-eyed blue tang fish who suffers from memory loss every 10 seconds or so. The one thing she can remember is that she somehow became separated from her parents as a child. With help from her friends Nemo and Marlin, Dory or or Dora embarks on an epic adventure to find them. Her journey brings her to the Marine Life Institution, a conservatory that houses diverse ocean species. Dora or Dory know, now knows that her family reunion will only happen if she can save mom and dad from captivity. So yeah, that's basically what the movie is about. Finding Dory or Finding Dora. Yep, it's a great movie, so you could ch you should go check that out. Now moving on to the second movie. 
Guess what, everybody? I had this movie for like a couple years now, and guess what? I have never ever watched it. Like sat down and watched it. I only looked at the cover, but I haven't watched it. Like I got like a lot of movies that I didn't watch. Isn't that so crazy? Like oh my gosh! Now it's time for me to tell you about this movie. So let's get to it. Oh, I haven't seen this movie, and I had it for years. So I'm guessing that it's about. A little girl that wants a puppy named Lily and she's gonna get it by finding her and here's back. Also these are other different movies too. I, like I have three movies. Hold on, I have to stand my legs. But yeah, here's the case. Don't worry, I have shorts under, so yeah. So uh, I have three movies in this one disc. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. Saying I have three movies, but I'm just talking about this one. And here are the other three movies. If you haven't saw Lassie before, it's about a dog too. So basically, it's about a dog that wants a puppy. I know I want a puppy, but my parents won't let me. But anyway yeah it's a cute and adorable movie you should check this out too and moving on to the next movie because i don't want this to take like a four hour movie tv show yo let's go first let me break it down first let me break it down first let me break it down First, let me break it down. Let me break it down. Let me break, 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 break it down. Word. And last movie of the video. <laughs> okay, enough of this playing around, young TT. Let's do this last movie on this screen so I can get back to my raps and let them be seen word on that that I'm a boss diva who always can believe in her dreams all right and the third movie is angry bird and I just part and my mom just part this for me last week with finding Dory but I know I didn't watch it yet, so I'm going to watch it probably tonight. But I'm I'm going to read you the back. In the 3D animated comedy, The Angry Birds movie, we'll finally find out why the birds are so angry. The movie takes us to an island populated entirely by happy, flightless birds, or almost entirely in this paradise. Red Jason suit. Kiss were the Miller's Harbor bosses, a bird with a temper problem, Speedy Chuck, Josh Gabe in his first anime role since Frozen, and the violent hole bomb, Danny McBride, this is the end eastbound and down has always been outsiders, but when the island is visited by mysterious green piggies, it's up to these unlikely uncast to figure out what the pigs are up to. Basically, oh, also he's back. So it's just like basically saying why are the birds angry? Why are they mad? So yeah. Alright. Well here are the three movies that I talked about today with you. Tell me what's your favorite movie out of all of these if you've seen it before or if you are going to see these movies. Tell me what's your favorite out of them. Or if you have, tell me what you like about them, what you dislike about them. Because um, my favorite is Finding Dory. And by the way, give this video a like. And this is the first time I did three. Maybe next week I'll do four, then five, then so on. Well, anyway, I'm going to go back to my... Well, anyway, I'm going to eat first, then go back to my wraps. So you know me. Truth on that. Now this beast is going. See you later. Word. And thanks so much for watching.